it's a travel <laughs> montage. Pretty. Can you see it's a travel montage? Can you see this? Might look, look behind you, Kiri. No, like, look, not the camera. Just you look. Look at this travel montage. We're traveling, not montage. It's a montage. It's up there. Maybe I'll just do that in. <laughs> Good morning, I am in the beautiful Trento, surrounded by mountains and beautiful architecture. I am just heading for the first day of the Traverse Conference, which I'm very excited about. Um, some of you were asking for my Instagram stories why I'm at a travel conference, so if you've only started following me recently, I actually used to have a travel blog and I loved it, it was great. Um, and then the last few years I've been focusing solely on my business coaching and kind of building that up but I still do a lot of traveling. I work remotely and I, I do a lot of traveling and I help my clients to do the same. I help them to work remotely and take their businesses on the road so they can travel at the same time. So I kind of wanted to bring a bit more continuity between the two things and bring them a bit more together. And yeah, I'm just getting some inspiration for how to do that here. And it's been really great. I'm seeing a lot of my old like travel bloggy friends, which is lovely. Um, and yeah, just kind of getting back into the swing of it. So I'm really excited. There's some really great workshops and things throughout the day and some chances to explore some of Trento as well. So it should be a really, really good conference. finished up day one of the conference and it was really good, really informative, met lots of cool people and the sun is still out so I'm going to go and meet Kiri and Lewis and just enjoy the rest of the evening. If you don't know this about me, I have an obsession with alpacas. <laughs> we are in Trento and this is their cable car system that we are about to go up. And we got our free pass to go on this. It's like a Trento guest card. With the Trento guest card. Um, we don't know how long it takes or what's up there. So we're going to find out. We're going to explore. We are out of the cable car. Gratefully. Thankfully. We did not enjoy that. The view was beautiful, but it was very rattly. <laughs> and uh, now we have an even better view without the glass in the way. Okay, I'm ready for day two of Traverse. Kiri and Lewis have just left. They're gonna head back to Venice for a bit before they catch their flight tonight. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of really good sessions lined up for today. Ready to just do it all over again. forever so I'm just gonna have to roll with it. Uh, so the conference, it's getting louder, conference is now over um, there is one last kind of drinks kind of get together thing which I'm heading to now but it's been a pretty busy weekend, it's been good, um, very different to the other travel conferences that I've been to, like quite different but uh, yeah I've learned a lot, I've met some new people and it's been fun, so just heading to the after thingy now, very 
Italian get up here. Wow, that really is getting louder. Um, and then I'm gonna have to concentrate on where I'm going or I'm gonna get lost. All right, that is Traverse officially over. I've just left the after party. It was really good. That was actually the best part of the whole event. Um, just seeing some really great people and meeting some new ones. So I'm just heading back to my hotel now. Um, got myself some pistachio gelato. Just, this is my version of a nightcap. <laughs> so got some of this, gonna go back, chill out. And then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go and see Verona before I head home. So yeah, it's been a great conference and good night. Good morning, I am in Fair Verona. I left Trento this morning, just hopped on a bus. Took about an hour, maybe a little bit more, um, just to get here from Trento. I'm in the historical part of Verona right now, which is lovely, the sun is shining, and I'm just gonna explore a little bit. I have a few hours before my flight tonight. So yeah, just gonna wander around and see a part of the world I've never seen before. So I figure you can't really come to Verona and not visit Juliet's house, which is where I am right now. You can kind of see the balcony behind me. This is where, in the play, Juliet stood and said, Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Which, by the way, a lot of people misquote and they think it means, where are you Romeo? But it actually means, why are you Romeo? Because obviously the whole play was about the feud between their two families and the fact they couldn't be together because of who they both were. So. I just wanted to put that in there because a lot of people do get that wrong and it's a bit of a shame. So yeah, standing here now, it's very busy, very touristy. There's a lot of people around, but it's still quite a cute little thing to come and do. This is the wall where people leave all their love letters. It's so cute, there's like couples around that just like all loved up and I'm actually tearing up a bit watching some of them, it's really adorable. Um, but yeah, there's just hundreds and hundreds of love letters around here, it's really sweet. Maybe I will write a love letter to Jasper. <laughs> It's really sweet actually just reading some of these. So this one says, Dear Juliet, please bestow happiness and good luck in my love life forevermore. Please also bless my mother's love life and send her a man to take care of her. That is so sweet. There's no such thing as too much gelato when you're in Italy, I believe very strongly. And it's very hot today, so gelato. Oh my god. It's so good. Obviously, it's gelato in Italy, but it's very, very good. That's pretty much all I've got time for here in Verona. It's been short and sweet. It's been nice to just um, see another part of Italy, even though it was only for a couple of hours. But now I need to grab my bags and head to the airport and head back to Germany. Hi, baby. Hi. Yes, it did.